Finally, <coughs> this is what the um, this is taken from the report by the colonial surgeon on the horrible hygiene conditions in which the Chinese live. This is an early Tong Lao, a two-story Tong Lao without a balcony, as I say. In the 1880s and 90s, these were almost all replaced by three or four-story Tong Lao with balconies. Usually the same, the ground floor is a shop. Behind the shop is a cookhouse where food can be cooked with no windows, so very nasty. And a ladder or staircase goes up to the upper floor, which is divided into cubicles. Yeah. Only the front cubicle has air. Only the front cubicle has a window. And usually the system was that the floor would be rented by one man, and he would live in this cubicle here. And he would rent this cubicle and this cubicle. And usually, the walls of the cubicles didn't rise, reach right up to the roof, so some air and light would get into the middle and back cubicle over the top of the wall. There was a cookhouse at the back, which doubled as a latrine. There would be a bucket here for, for the sewage. Um, and very often, you'd have the front cubicle, the, the head tenant would have his family living there. These cubicles are about eight feet square, about eight feet square. So he'd have his family living here. He'd rent out these two, possibly to other families, possibly to a group of single men. Very often they would have six men in each of these cubicles in three-story bunks. And if, if there was a lot of pressure, they would put more people up on the cockloft above. And if this family had a servant, then the servant would sleep here in the corridor. So these Tong Lao were, the colonial surgeon was concerned about them because he was sure that this was why Hong Kong had plague and typhoid and so on, is the fact that the cookhouse doubled as a latrine, that there was no sewage provision, um, that there was no uh, air, that the, it was horribly overcrowded. You know, you have here an area of about 25 by 8 feet, and you might easily have 20 people living in it. It was grossly overcrowded, but the government couldn't sell land fast enough to keep pace with the increase in population. Um, to make matters worse, many of these people had come from the countryside, and a lot of them saw no harm in keeping a pig here. <laughs> um, a fact that the colonial surgeon was extremely trenchant about it. So this is what most of these shop houses, these early shop houses, would have looked like. 